It probably wouldn't come as much of a surprise to most of you who are somewhat familiar with refrigeration equipment and systems when I say that generally speaking a sealed refrigeration system is pretty reliable stuff. They can run for decades. There are some that are even still running from the turn of the century around the earliest re known refrigeration systems. But those aren't, those aren't necessarily sealed but they still prove the point. Generally speaking, a refrigeration system is very reliable. Just how reliable is it? Well, you know, I didn't honestly know until I picked up this dehumidifier. Keeping the Roach Palace dry and free of moisture is kind of like hitting a moving target, only your ammunition is jello and you're trying to nail it to a tree. The Roach Palace has always had a certain aroma to it, some of it's must and mold, no doubt, and you can see the mold on the ceiling up here around the smoke detector. Anyway, I'm trying this summer, instead of just running the air conditioning here all the time, I'm actually trying to help it out a little with some dehumidifiers. And of course, I have a couple of dehumidifiers. Most of them I snaked from my parents' house and brought over here because they don't really need or use them anymore. Well, this one, as you can see, this one is in, uh, this one is in great shape for the most part could almost pass for brand new if it had electronic controls. And I do tend to prefer older dehumidifiers because from what I hear, the new ones with their electronic controls and even their refrigeration systems, they're seemingly made of pressed garbage and they have a quality record to boot. I don't know how you can screw up sealed refrigeration like that, but seemingly people have. Well, the thing about this dehumidifier that's so amazing, I saw this sitting out next to a bric-a-brac shop up on Main Street and I decided, well, you know, I'll stop in and ask if that's for sale. See if I could buy it for a couple of bucks. Well, it turns out that uh, it was said to work fine, and then the owner of the shop and I went to look out at it. And what we discovered is that the condenser coils back here, someone had vandalized this. Try moving it here. Someone had vandalized this to the point where those evaporator coils were splayed completely out that's pretty serious. They're made of soft aluminum. What are the odds this thing could possibly still be working? What's more, it looked like someone had in places basically taken a club to them. There's all kinds of little dents and dimples all the way along this coil. I apologize for not having better lighting. But anyway, I, gave, I offered him a few bucks for it and he said, well go ahead and take it home and try it out first and see if it works. I took it home, I plugged it in, amazingly it started cooling and working fine. It seems to be unscathed, even though I bent those coils about as much as I dare to get them back in approximately the right place. But it seems to be working just about perfectly, by my estimation. We've got cool on the back there, and this being a dehumidifier. We have warm coming out the front. So if you're ever wondering about the kind of abuse that a sealed cooling system can take, and I don't think this thing's got any pinhole leaks or anything like that, this should be a good example. Okay, here we go. I won't be like that. I went and got a proper light. So now you can really see the amount of damage that these coils have taken. Ding there, some crimps there. But it's definitely doing just like it ought to do. It's working about as good as you could ask, considering what it's been through. This is an R500 system, as opposed to the more common R12, R22, or in this day and age, 134A. So there you have it. Just how much a sealed cooling system can endure and still seemingly work just fine.